so glad you're my friend and we can read these great books on science. But you look a little lonely. I know, I have a great experiment in the lab where we can make you some more plant friends. To the lab! I'm in STEM lab at the Children's Museum of Indianapolis, and today on Real Science, we are going to make grass heads. Yay! But first, let's talk about plants. Plants are living things, which usually start from a seed and can make their own food. To grow, plants need soil, air, sunlight, and water. Wow! If you're following along at home or in the classroom, here are the supplies you're going to need. Potting soil, a small jar, grass seed, water, a cup, and old tights or pantyhose. Now that we have all of our supplies, let's get started making a grass head. The first thing you will need is a piece of tights that you've cut to about six inches. Make sure you leave the toe. Then you're going to take a mug or a cup and you're going to stretch your tights over the top, making sure that the toe is down inside the cup. The next step is to take grass seed and add two teaspoons of grass seed. We need to have something to grow, so that's why we add grass. Now we're going to take potting soil and add about a half cup to our tights. The more soil you add, the bigger your head will be. And you need to make sure you push it down inside the toe part. Now you're going to lift it off, and you're going to make sure that the soil and the grass seed is all the way down at the bottom. Tie the tights, but make sure you leave a tail. It's really important so you can water your grass head. And there you go the start of a grass head. You can decorate this however you would like. I decided to use foam shapes to give mine a really silly face. <laughs> now that your grass head is finished, we need to take a bowl of water and we need to dunk the grass head so the very bottom is wet and your tail is wet. This just gives us a jump start on the watering process. Now, you're going to take a small jar with a little bit of water. A jelly jar works great. And just set your grass head right on top. There you go. The best part about science is sometimes you get to watch things over time. So make sure you put your grass head in a sunny window and check on it every couple of days. You know, Spike, I am really glad we have some more plant friends. Join us next time on Real Science. Thank you so much for watching. If you try this experiment, take a few photos and share them with us using this hashtag. We'd love to see what you came up with.